Previously on Highlander. Dawson? McCloud! Hey, watch it! It's not an immortal, it's the Watchers. Dawson was taken by his own people. Why? Where is he? Who are you guys? The rumor is that the Watcher Tribunal are putting him on trial for treason. Joseph Dawson, you are charged with betraying your oath, with consorting with an immortal, and falsifying chronicles. How do you plead? Jack, is that you? I wish I could say it's good to see you, Joe. In the last three years, We've lost 80 agents. In the 50 years before that, we've lost two. It's been just three years since you had your first little talk with McLeod. <laughs> I don't believe this. If we decide you are guilty, the penalty is death. This trial is over. Another watcher has been killed. Who? Oh. My son, McLeod. We find them guilty as charged. I'm gonna blow my brains out tomorrow. Tradition. You gotta love it. Duncan McLeod murdered a dozen of us in order to save one traitor. We've been hurt. But we're still alive. The Watchers live. And while we do, while there's breath in one of us, everything stops except for one mission. We find McLeod and Dawson. And when we do, we eliminate them. He is Duncan McLeod, the Highlander. Born in 1592 in the Highlands of Scotland, and he is still alive. He is immortal. For 400 years, He's been a warrior, a lover, a wanderer, constantly facing other immortals in combat to the death. The winner takes his enemy's head, and with it, his power. I am a watcher, part of a secret society of men and women who observe and record, but never interfere. We know the truth about immortals. In the end, there can be only one. May it be Duncan McLeod, the Highlander. Here we are, born to be kings. We're the princes of the Back up! 
before he's dead. Shoot him! Shoot him anyway! <laughs> Dumar, Mr. Shapiro. He got away. I don't care how smart he is, sir. We'll find him. And we'll kill him. Is there anything to drink in here? No, not a thing. Oh, I mean, besides that wine, I'm brushing my teeth with this stuff. Yeah, well, when you hold up in a wine cellar, you take what you can get. How about the uh, 27 Latour? I hear it's a wonderful year for brushing teeth. I'm certain it's lovely. Listen, in another week, ah, I'm gonna be crawling the walls. All these spiders are starting to look familiar to me. It's okay, it's only me. Couldn't get grapes. Thanks. How's the patient? Well, hates the food, criticizes the wine, that says back to normal. I suppose an improvement was too much to ask for. Let's have a look at you. Yes, doctor. You know, considering how shot to pieces you were, it's amazing you're still alive. Ow! Considering who's treating me, I'd say it's a miracle. Watch out. Aha! What did you say you studied medicine? Heidelberg, 1453. Did you major in medicine or dueling? Both. A couple more days, you'll be able to travel. Lucky you don't have to look quite so happy about it. You know that run-in you had with the watchers the other night? Yeah. Jean Dumas. He was killed the same night. I'm sorry, Joe. Oh, I know it's a friend of yours. Hey, it was the other immortal. Yeah, well, you try telling that to Shapiro, because he's convinced it was you. Really, guys, the time's come for you two to start a new life somewhere. Bora Bora is, is very nice this time of year. Yeah, well, send me a postcard. I'm not leaving. Does the term self-preservation mean anything to you, McLeod? Look, you are under a death sentence. Yeah, and I will be until they figure out that I'm not the killer. Where's Shapiro? Right at the moment, busy trying to kill you. Where's Shapiro? Look, don't make it easy for him, Mag. Look, I'm making it easy for him because that's where the killer will go. Now, where is he? They're hiding out in a mortuary on the left bank. pulls this thing every day. Your horse has twice as many legs. Oh, didn't you learn how to count? Yeah, well, you'll just have to try twice as hard. <laughs> I got a better idea. Let's change places. Thanks, McLeod. <laughs> <Thanks. laughs> what 
Essen im Ort. That must be my bride. Irena. Oh, Jacob, you're the luckiest man alive. <laughs> McLeod, how did he talk you into this? The same way I talked you into marrying me. Passion. <coughs> and persistence. After 65 years, I grew tired of saying no. <laughs> so, when are you getting married? Mm, married. <laughs> Half the girls in the camp have their eyes on you. They think you are going to waste. That is exactly why I'm putting him to work. Ready, McLeod? No, 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 no. Even a horse has to stop for water. No, 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 no. Irena will get you some water. We have a wagon to fix. Irena? Oh. That's very sweet, but where did this we come from? We have a wagon to fix. We. You and me. We. You know, it's funny, Jacob, that whenever there's work to do, or you want to borrow money, I become family. I'm a gypsy, McLeod. What do you expect? Uh, have you got any money? Help me, please! My friends hurt. Harry, he's bleeding. I can't stop it. All right. Where are you going? This way. He's in here. Hurry! Why the hurry to move on? We've only been here a month. Oh, that's a month too long, my friend. <laughs> okay, all right. Don't scream. Must be the wine. The land's a sea, McLeod, and we are at safe. Wine? Wine, wine, yes. McLeod, that doesn't belong to me. I'd rather stay here. Don't move. Don't move. Stop, Clara! You I don't know what you're talking about. Let me go! Elena? She wanted it. She called me in here. Hold him. No, Jacques. I'm gonna make sure no, leave you him. never hurt another woman again. No, Jacob, no, not no. this way, no! This is the only no. way, McLeod. This is an eye for an no, eye. Jacob. This is blood for blood and shame for no. shame! No. Jacob, you do this, the whole camp will suffer. Let the law deal with this. Take Irena and go. Go. Go, I will deal with this. You have no case. You can set him free. He violated her. <laughs> Come now. She led him on with the promise of her favors and tried to pick his pocket. You liar! If you have any honor at all, you'll look to it. You know what the truth is. I know that when she could not rob him, she tried to stab him. How do you know that? I know because he told me. Because I know what gypsies are. If you don't do anything, we have our own system of justice, and our justice never fails. Jacob, let's go. Let's go. Take your friend's advice, Tinker. Pack your tents and leave. Your kind is not wanted here. <laughs> Gypsy bitch! You won't think she's ever done it before. What was that? 
I'd shut your mouth if you know what was good for you. Come on. I don't know much about breeding value of horses, especially gypsy mares. But I'd say hers just went up. I think you should pay me a start fee. <laughs> Way to die. Give any water. Do you know what you've done? Yes. Yes, I killed a pig who wasn't worth God's effort. And a wrong has been righted. You think that's all there is to it? They know you're dead, the whole camp. You can never go back. So be it. There's a price to pay for justice. Justice or pride? What about Irena? Did you ask her before you decided to change her life? Hasn't she suffered enough? She is my wife, McLeod. She's a gypsy, and she's an immortal, and she will follow me after the camp moves on. Because you gave her no choice. You can't always think with your heart, Jacob. The end of a blade isn't the only answer. Well, you tell me another one. That was justice, McLeod. It was blood for blood. And I would kill a thousand times more to see that done. I don't think you would. I'll tell Irena where to find you. McLean, would you look on the good side? You can have our wagon when we're gone. I'd rather have both of you with me. You'll be safe. Where's my boot? Never mind looking for it. One of the villagers took it. <laughs> they call us thieves. It's called passion, McLeod. You'd been a real gypsy, you know that. What I want to know is what you were doing up there. Hey, come on. Is that any way to talk to the guy who just saved your head? <sighs> Not to mention your shirt. Well, don't give up your day job. <laughs> They're pretty well trained, I'll give them that. That one went straight through your lung. Yeah, tell me about it. You still haven't told me what you're doing up there, Jacob. I'm saving myself, McLeod. I'm saving you. I'm saving all of us. Oh. Hey, look, McLeod, there's a secret society of mortals out there who know we exist. They know exactly how to kill us. And you've been killing them. I'm defending our lives. 
They're monsters, man. They want to wipe us off the face of the planet. Jacob, you're wrong. Thank you. you think I'm making this up? You think I'm crazy, huh? I've seen them. Yeah, so have I. People with tattoos here. You know about them? They're called Watchers. And they're not after all of us. You're just me. Well, I wish to God you were right, McLeod. But you're not. You see, they've killed before. Miranda, come on. You have to keep running. Come on. Oh, everything we have. Have another one. Look, we haven't got much time now. Come on. Who are they? Why are they doing this? I don't know who they are. Now, come on. We have to keep running. We haven't got much time. Come on. Come on. What did I tell you? Burn it, and then they will come. You did this. And I've only just begun. Gentlemen. times as I've seen this, it never ceases to amaze me and disgust me. But this could be interesting. No, you can't. I'm afraid you're wrong. Why? What have we done to you? You live. That's more than reason enough. Your kind are a shadow on the face of the earth, a loathsome abomination. How dare you place yourselves above us? No, you're wrong. We don't. There can be nothing greater than man. It is we who are born in God's image. You are a mistake. A freak of nature. You have no right to exist. We've never hurt you. Please, please. We don't even know you. I was forgetting myself. James Horton. I think your wife will be joining you soon. No! No, please! my introduction to the Watchers, McLeod. It took me a year to track down that symbol and the animals that wear it. It wasn't easy. Most of those scum would rather die than talk. But one of them talked to you. <laughs> well, there's always one ready to give up a name or a place for an extra 15 minutes of life. Jacob, you killed all those people. I executed them, McLeod, for the murder they committed. Jacob, listen to me. The ones that killed Arena were an aberration. They were outlaws. Watchers don't kill. They're not murderers. No. 
No, well, that one today was doing a pretty damn fine imitation. Yeah, because he thought I was you. They think I'm the one that's been doing the killing. Yeah, well, all the better, McLeod. Come and join me. We'll get rid of them twice as fast. No, you have to listen to me. They don't exist to kill. They were created to observe, to be historians. Historians? McLeod, they murdered Irena. She was on her knees begging, and they cut her head off. That is the only history that I care about. How can you defend these murderers? Because one of them is my friend. McLeod. McLeod, I have a right to justice. You can lie to yourself, Jacoby. You can't lie to me. This isn't about justice. This is about vengeance. You know what she was to me. I know what she was. Can you stand there and tell me that she would have wanted any of this? You grieve for her. Can you imagine her grief if she knew what she'd become? I am what they made me. No, nobody made you a murderer, Jacob. You did that all by yourself. The men you kill. Do you think about their wives, their children? Can you imagine their grief? Now, Raina would have. This, um... This man, this watcher... His name's Dawson. Yeah, well, do you trust him? With my life. You know, Irene always said you were a good and honest man. I just thought you were a little naive. Go meet with him. The guy's a murderer. I won't meet him. Horton killed Arena in front of him. Then he tried to kill Jacob. He thinks you're all to blame. So that gives him a license to kill. No, Joe, just meet with him. Talk to him. Show him you're not like Horton. People are dead, McLeod. My friends. Because he thinks we're responsible. Well, can you blame him? Watchers killed his wife. Horton killed his wife. Horton was a watcher. Horton is dead. And your friend is still killing. So when does this stop, McLeod, when he's dead or when we are? Look, all I know is I'm tired of losing friends. We'll find another way. You know, I don't think there is another way. Joe, Joe, we have to stop this. Because otherwise more people are going to die. We? Yeah. Hey, I wear one of these too, okay? Or did you forget that? I didn't forget. But we both know what you really are. Oh, come on, Dawson. Come on, think Mac, about Mac, it. Mac, Mac. Look. I'll talk to you. Yeah, well, you better. Because if Shapiro or Jacka puts a bullet in his head, he's not the type to get born again. Shapiro, that it's Jacob killing Watchers and not McLeod. I see you want to do that. You have to talk to him. They're not going to let you near the guy. No, not on my own. Adam. No. Give me one good reason. Revenge. Gave it up. Well, then save my ass. Why not that, Cox? Well, how about McLeod? The Watchers want to kill him, and they eventually will kill him, unless he learns the truth about who killed his son. But then they go off to Jacob. The guard is armed. There's probably half a dozen of them on the roof as well. Not to mention the new password that we don't know about. I wouldn't worry about the password. They're gonna shoot you on sight anyway. You know, I think I've had just about as much irony for one day as I can take. What we have to do is figure out a way to get inside. Brilliant. Got any ideas? 
Ironically enough, I do. Excuse me. Adam Pearson, uh, I guess you know who this is. You saved us a lot of trouble, Pearson. How did you get him? <sighs> Try that the other way around. You get Shapiro for me. Consider the irony. Come on. this friend of yours, this tame watcher who's supposed to change my mind. He wouldn't come. Oh, this surprises you. Jacob, you slaughtered his friends. You shot him. You expect them not to fear you? No. No, I want them to fear me. To know what Arena felt. I want to see that look in their eyes. And then I want to watch them die. I wish to God that had never happened, but you can't blame them all for Arena's death. They're all guilty, MacLeod. All of them! They all wear it, look. They all wear the sign of the beast. And like the beasts they are, I hunt them. Now maybe they'll hunt you. Your friend. You can trust him. I needed his help to stop this. I'll tell you when this stops, after I've killed them all. You can't kill them all, Jacob. I can try. Listen to yourself. Listen to yourself. You sound like Horton. Blood for blood, MacLeod. You tell your friend. If he gets in my way... Drop the hostage act. You won't shoot. Pearson's your friend. You know, we were friends too, Jack. Didn't stop you from ordering my death. Even if you kill me, Joe, you're not gonna get out of here alive. You know that. Yeah, I didn't come to kill anyone, and I don't want to die. I came here to talk. You think that gun is gonna change my mind? Hear me out, Jack. Give me ten minutes. I don't think that's too much to ask of an old friend. I'll listen. How could you let him do that? It was a simple choice. Jacob Galati or you. And since I don't give a damn about Jacob Galati, it wasn't that difficult to make it. Yeah, I guess it wasn't. I'm a pragmatist, McLeod. The Watchers wanted the real killer, and I want to keep you alive. You can't have it both ways. Oh, no, you're right. You can't have it both ways. You're either one of them or you're one of us. Got it?
just to ride this trail. Sorry about Irena. <laughs> you mention her name one more time, and I'm not gonna kill you. You're just gonna wish I had. I'm unarmed, all right? Who the hell are you? Joe Dawson. The one McLeod told me about. His friend. That's right. Now, the Watchers just took McLeod half an hour ago, and they're gonna kill him. Tell him they got the wrong man. They're not gonna believe me. You are his only chance. Where is he? I'll take you there. I thought he was your friend. Come on. Cross me, Shapiro. We had a deal. I don't like this. You don't have to. I mean, look on the bright side, Joe. You proved your loyalty. You're back in the Watchers. Jack, I brought him here so you could listen to him. Hear his side. We'll hear what we need to. Yeah. Guess who's here? Cloud, what the hell are you doing? They know you're not the killer. It's not what I'm doing. It's what he's become. <laughs> and what exactly have I become? A killer like Horton. Oh, listen to this. A lesson in ethics from our good friend Duncan McLeod. I know you lost your son. But Jacob lost his wife. None of this will bring either of them back. Call it off while there's still time. No. McLeod! I'd shake your hand, but these people have other ideas. I've already met your good friend Joe Dawson, the guy you trusted with my life. You son of a bitch, Dawson. Keep him here. Bring me the blade. But no, what? Stop. Stop. I can't do this. You watch me. There's got to be another way. Well, there isn't. Now you can stay or you can go. You use that blade, you destroy your oath. I hate to break it to you, Mac, but I was right. Nothing will ever be the same between the Watchers and the Immortals. Listen to him, Jack. You do this and you throw away everything we stand for. Blood for blood, McLeod. Remember, blood for blood. You see? He understands. You use that sword, you better use it again on me. If he moves, shoot him. Don't do this. Dawson! Jack! <laughs> No! down, Jack. This is not about McLeod. Come on, Mac. Please, let's go. 
I will kill you, Jack! Come on. Please. Please, let's go. This is not over. You better hope to God that it is! I was just supposed to get him there so they could talk to him. Jack set me up. They weren't supposed to kill him. You gotta believe me. It doesn't matter what I believe. It does to me. Either way. Either way, he's dead. Like I did it to save you. Where are you going? It can be over now. It's gotta be over. Stop him. Stop him. Why? Well, if... He goes after Shapiro, the Watchers are gonna go after him! Well, what about you, Joe? Who do you go after? I'm 5,000 years old. I don't know who I am anymore. I just helped set up one of my own. I did not know they were gonna kill him! You keep telling yourself that, Joe. Maybe you'll start to believe it. screwed up good you stupid son of a bitch you don't even know what you've done <laughs> I guess you're gonna tell me well thanks for the advice Joe when your friend Duncan McLeod gets here we'll just have to deal with him He wants you dead, Jack. You are dead. <laughs> oh, I think you overestimate Duncan McCloud. He won't be that hard to kill. The Watchers, Jack. We don't kill immortals. You're dancing a little close to the edge, Joe. I think it's time you went back to the States. No, no. Either we end this now or there's going to be a full-scale war. Even if you get McLeod, you think his friends won't come for you? They will come for you. They will come for all of us. Jack, you have made us what we have always sworn not to be, a threat to them. You underestimate us, Joe. We know who they are. We know who their friends are. We know where they live. Hell, we even know what they had for breakfast. It won't be that hard. There's the door, Joe. Use it. Oh my God. You don't understand anything I've said. No. You don't understand anything I've said. We protect our own. I failed once. It will never happen again. Your own. Well, how many people have to die to pay for your son? You're through, Dawson. Get the hell out while you still can. You go to hell! You go to hell! Security! A little late for that, Jack. What do you want? I want blood for blood. Don't do it, McLeod. Don't do it. He wanted it this way. Judging us? Killing us? So ready to kill, so ready to die, just like Horton, huh? And for what? For who? For my son. For David. I'd kill you. You didn't kill Jackal for your son. <laughs> the dead don't want revenge. They want nothing. They, they feel nothing. Horton made Jackal a killer. And you killed him. Now Jackal's made you one. McLeod, you gotta leave him alone! Shoot him, Joe! I'll shoot you! He dies no, now! No! Let no, him go! Sorry. Let him go! Shoot him! Shut up! No, no! Please, no more. McLeod, this is all gonna end right here. Right here. You listen to me, Jack. 
You listen real hard. <laughs> You're gonna tell me how it's gonna be. You want more? You want to bury some more of your friends with something that Horton started? Or do you want peace? Peace. Peace. The killing ends here, or I swear it's only just begun! No! No! Hey, Matt. War's over. Jack's out. I'm back in. And I think we're going to be able to put the Watchers together again. I'm happy for you. Have you, uh, have you seen Mythos? I went by his place. He's gone, and nobody has any idea where he is. Are you surprised at that? Is this something you wanted? I don't know, I thought maybe I could uh, buy you a drink. Oh, thanks. Or maybe later. <laughs> 